third of our fine net. King, tour of the two fighters. Pitching on sit ball in the blue gloves and the black shorts. Well, international matchup. Chaos King from WA versus Sit War from Thailand. Australia versus Thailand, an international battle. Fights, Hammer. 200 plus fights for uh, for Sit War against uh, 21 fights, 20 wins for uh, for Matt King from uh, from Western Australia. An enthralling contest this one will be. Full tie rules scheduled for five three minute rounds from here in Mackay and I hope you're enjoying our, our coverage tonight. Of course, uh, Thai style, always first round, slow starting. Battle of Witch here, and uh, can the Australian Matt Chaos King from the Chaos Sock Gymnasium in Western Australia, can he overcome the deficit in fights, 200 plus fights from the Thai veteran? Pechenong, Pechenong nice and relaxed, composed, he's not going to do much in the first round at all, he's just going to have a good hard look at Matt, Matty Chaos King. Him, but just taking his time, jumping in and out. Just another day at the office of a 200 fight veteran. Of course, he has got the obligatory Thai smile. That's it. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, we're in the uh, super world weight, the junior middleweight division, which uh, just above world weight, really, where the 67.7 for Matt King and uh, 67.8 for, uh, for Pechenong. All confidence all night long. But a good step up from Matty Chaos King. 21 fights, 20 wins. That's a solid record. Only one loss in 20 fights. Great record from the Kao Sok fighter, WA. Just shows the extent of uh, of the number of fights that there are around and, of course, the promotions that there are around. And Hammer, as you know, you could go to any state of this country and there'll be two or three shows on every weekend. Yeah, definitely. Some, uh, some of the shows, of course, smaller. And... Uh, but nevertheless giving the fighters the experience, the much needed ring experience that they need. And Matty Chaos King doing it nicely at this point. His uh, reflex and timing is, is on. That's Matt King in the red gloves. And Hammer, you know, he has got a perfect build for a tight boxer, hasn't he? Well, he has, but uh, there's almost a takedown there for pitching on. Great sportsmanship there by pitching on. Typical Thai style, smile, cuts his gloves. He knows he's uh, in the ascendancy here. Fast reaction time. As you would expect of a 200 fight veteran. Absolutely. Of course, they don't get phased, do they? They can be under the pump, they can be under the hammer, but they just take their time and work their way around. No, they find a strategy, and one thing doesn't work, they go. Done the work, uh, Chaos Matt King. See if you can uh, try and bridge that gap, and can he overcome the 200 plus fight veteran? Get you on. Sit or all the way from Bangkok in Thailand. From the Siang Boxing Gym over there is uh, Matt King clubs him with a nice straight right hand as they lock up and uh, the free Justin Gibbons says OK boys, we're now in nowhere, let's go back to centre ring. Once again fast reaction time not only from the Thai, the Thai challenger but the Aussie, Matty Chaos King. He's certainly uh, bringing his A game here tonight. Well he has to. Hammer, he has to bring his A game because anything less is not going to win the fight for him is it? Definitely not. The Australian Matt King in the red gloves. He just makes that little area. He realised then he cowered as he got out of that and uh, on He's covered. Went for cover after the, the high head kick miss with Pechenong just weaving back, removing the target. Oh, there was a Again, nice slipping from side to side. Very relaxed fight style. Fast hand work into knee transition. Goes King. Tight guard. Trying to get the elbow away. Pechenong is going to just keep him tied up and not give him any leverage at all to let those elbows fly. His defence is very, very sound pitching on, isn't it? He, uh, he knows when he's, um, when he's under the pump, he just locks his opponent up. He doesn't uh, get phased. He just takes his and tries to reverse. Shut him down. Spinning heel kick there yeah. from Matty King. Weaves back. Counters with the right hand off the high kick. Good counter fighting from King. 
chops low. Counters with a knee over the under the punch. Again, he's got those long knees, beautiful long knee striking. Good defence when his leg gets caught as well. Look at that tight clinch. He's strong in the clinch too, isn't he, Pedro? Nice body lock from Matt King. He had the tight clinch up high and then went straight down to the body lock. Keeping his vertical base well. Goes to weave back. And, uh, with only 20 fights or so on his record, Matty King is fighting far above the experience listed. Absolutely. He's much more seasoned than 20 fights. Uh, certainly looks that way. Oh, and a nice right hand by, uh, by Matt King. He's now under the pump there. Oh, oh Hayes, he that. turned that into a reverse kick. From the catch to the spinning round kick and back to base. Uh, he is impressing me no end, Matt Chaos King. And this is the first time that I've actually seen Matt King fight in the flesh here, Hammer, uh, here in, uh, in Mackay. And I am impressed. This camp uh, would have a lot of confidence in him to match him up against Pechenong. Yeah, absolutely. So, absolutely. Another one of the uh, Perth Perth guys that is certainly coming to the fore. Certainly Toby Smith and the like. There's so much talent in WA. And uh, Matty King is just another one of the very talented Western Australians that are on the tie boxing circuit at the moment. He's competent in what Beautiful he does. Work. Come on. Uh, referee Justin Gibbons uh, just asking the corners to wipe up the water so that the uh, boys aren't going to lose their footing. That gets us underway for round number three of this exciting international super welterweight or junior middleweight contest. 68 kilos, 67.8, 67.7 kilos. Boys, they probably weigh well into 70 kilos by fight time, Hammer, I guess. Yeah, and, and over. Weight. That's Matt King with the red gloves. Chaos, Matt King from Western Australia, taking on the Thai veteran Pechenong Sit Ball from Bangkok in Thailand. And, uh, veteran of more than 200 Thai fights. And that's it. Well, that's only what he's saying anyway. <laughs> but uh, Matt King, 21 fights, 20 wins, just the one loss on his log. And uh, we can be very well proud of uh, Matt King. And uh, just gets a little reprimand there from our referee, Justin Gibbons, about uh, in the grapple, a little infraction there in the grapple. Matt King just setting off the push kick. Good straight line technique from him. Pitching on again, round into the knee. Oh, overhand elbow, beautiful right downward elbow from King. Just it hit him, but it just it wasn't quite timed as the way. What otherwise we? Uh, it was a very very well executed uh, elbow. Boy, is he confident in what he's doing, Matt King? I think as the rounds go on, he's going to get more and more confident. Nice takedown there from Pejanong. And, and Hammer, they're the little things that champions do, aren't they? You know, top, seasoned champions who know their way around a boxing ring. They've done this a thousand times. He just took Matt King down to, and uh, he just sort of said, hey, watch this. I've got something for you. Let's see in this balance. Let's see in the balance here. He tries for the reverse elbow. Uh, Matt King is, just loses his footing and Pejanong lets him know about it. So just put him on the ground nicely. Stepped over the top of him. And Justin he incurs the wrath of Justin Gibbons. And uh, Petsalong, just do a little bit of... Uh, I'll let you know who's boss he's, huh? This is one word that Justin Gibbons said, probably. but <laughs> He wouldn't have understood anything, but uh, the intention was there. Nice, uh, strong outside there kick by, uh, by Matt King. Again, uh, Petsalong equal to the task as the boys come up and grab on jumps. Justin says, we're going nowhere, let's break. In the ring. Hope you're enjoying our coverage here from Mackay from the beautiful entertainment and convention centre here tonight. A warm, balmy night here. And uh, a very, very well matched uh, contest this one. On paper, you'd think this is a, a, uh, a mismatch, wouldn't you? If you looked at this on paper, but what a really close, even contest this is. Well, it's all about knowing the fighters' capabilities. And as we said, Matty Chaos King fighting well above his 20 fight experience. Petsanong catches the kick, not, unable to execute the, the takedown. A nice push kick there from King, just, 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 just chipping away. Testament to the team behind Matt King, um, who have uh, been able to uh, bring the skills out in this young guy. And then also, you know, his thoughts on his ability to match make these fights because his matchmaking ability, and it is an art hammer, isn't it? You know, it's not, as I said, it's not just throwing a checkbook at anyone and saying, you want to fight this as Matt King comes in and says to Petsanong, have a look at this. He's very straightforward. He's, he's got the basics, Matt King, hasn't he? He's, um, 
He's, um, you know, just very straight, very long with his left and right, but he's got he's got good legs on him as well, and he mixes it up very well. He's got a great push kick on him, King. Comes through, grapples up into the clinch, throws the knees underneath. He just missed with that crossing elbow there. It's, uh, it's wrong now, trying something different. We're round four. Just noticed something on Pechenong's gloves. Brad, I don't think he's got his, his uh, gloves taped. Looks like they've, they've just got the, the laces around. Oh, the laces I can imagine around. that uh, maybe it was just a thin tape. Maybe they've just... Uh, is it on the right glove there? Maybe you have to... <laughs> so thin I can't see it. it maybe yeah. it's clear. So, and it's a personal elbow. thing, isn't it? Um, I mean, you know, a lot of, lot of um, trainers like to use lots of tape around their gloves. Others just like... Uh, little bit and I'd say they'd maybe just put a little bit of tape. I wouldn't imagine that Justin Gibbons and the team at the WMC here in uh, tonight would allow that without tape. It's just hard to see from inside here where we are. The lighting's not as great as it would be, could be but uh, but look we've oh, got look an extra Oh how the skills of Petron look at that he's Petron just tied just catches up. the knee spins him around and just transfers all that weight over it <laughs> makes him uh, uses up all the energy beautiful left jab by uh, Matt King there. Crunching with all right hand outside leg kick. Should have changed midstream there. Slip into the clinch. Straight off the hand, striking into the clinch. I've seen it so often tonight. Done very, very well. The slide off that right, uh, that right side. Hammer, how are you seeing this fight? I mean, this is an enthralling fight and a very close fight. How do you see it at this stage? Yeah, look, it is a close fight. I think early on, King uh, certainly uh, had some good scoring and was doing well, but pitching on, you know, coming back. Yeah. Side so yeah. knee guard, but you, you know, certainly you can't write off Matty Chaos King. He's done a great job and he's, he's aggressive. He's pushing the pace. He's not sitting back. He's not fighting with fear. He's uh, fighting with a lot of heart, jumping knee, downward elbow, and certainly mixing up the technique. And he's some, trying. He's trying new things all the time. Oh, he's got some great, uh, some great striking as well. And, uh, of course, effective aggression is what wins fights. You know, that a fighter who's going to come forward and effective aggression is nothing more than strikes, kicks, knees, elbows, punches that's landed there. And uh, Petron on getting the shin right up into the rib cage of Matty King on the, off that rear round kick. And did it with ease. Just knee guard and fighting defensively, however, the tie. He's not uh, initiating a lot of attacks. He's waiting for King to come forward and then counter fighting him. He's, yeah, he's trying to counter punch him. I think he's trying to bring Matt into a, um, into a position where he makes a mistake and then counters that mistake. Once again, push kick into the hand combinations from the Aussie. That was a very close round. Alex. Nick, the whole team at Parish Productions. Now we brought to you by JPS Canadians. And an enthralling contest. I hope you're enjoying it at home. How do you score it at home? How have you seen this fight? It's all really gonna. He looks like he's really gonna put the pedal to the metal here, Hammer. He's trying to increase his tempo now. Yeah, it's a fifth and final. Of course, tie style. The start slow, build up momentum, and uh, everything is let go in the fifth round. But, uh, it's going to be a matter of of what Matt what Matt King allows him to do, and whether he can maintain the face the, the pace rather that he that he did in the early rounds. Push kick off the rear leg. King switches through stance. They're pitching on really fast and being able to catch that body kick. His defence is so sound in it. He turns defence into attack very, very easily. He transitions it? well from the defence to an attack mode. The tie, no, as you would expect. There by, uh, by Matt King. It didn't have a lot of effect on it. And uh, the tie now, pitching on, turns to, uh, turns to um, your, uh, southpaw position. Changing stance. Gets a nice take down there from Chaos. Mixing it up very, very well. Trying to confuse his opponent. King knows he needs a big round, and again, a lot of aggression, a lot of forward movement, a lot of big attack. An international super lightweight, uh, super welterweight contest here. That's Australia's Matt King in the rear, uh, in the red gloves with the uh, gold band and on the trunks, I should say, and uh, and Thailand's absolute veteran, 200 plus fights. Uh, Petchelong sit or let's hope it's not a long flight back to uh, to. Bangkok on Thai Airways, I guess, for Petsnong. I think he's very, very confident in what he's done now. Still switch hitting there, still mixing it up. Matt King goes with a push king, misses. Petsnong, the outside leg king, just hit under the rib cage. 
enthralling contest here at Mackay. Right to the final 60 and, uh, seconds. We see the uh, coming up to the end of this five three minute round. Jumping D. Oh, that was a good scorer for him as well. Just missed the mark. Didn't it wasn't as effective as, it would, as he would like, but uh, but still a scoring shot. I tell you what, Brad, irrespective of the result here tonight, it's been the unveiling of Matty Chaos King that uh, has impressed me, and hopefully see him a lot more. Absolutely. And the pride, pride and glory promotions, I'm sure we will. Absolutely. I guess, you know, for, uh, after his performance here tonight, win, lose or draw, it's going to be very hard to match Matt King from our hammer, isn't it? 30 oh, seconds. Just a little bit one south. There to south Maddie, of the board. I'm sure Matty King uh, will be getting the invite back for Pride and Glory number 5, 12th of October. And uh, if you want to find out what's going on in your world of Thai boxing, if your hunger and your appetite for Thai boxing... Keep watching Channel 183 of the Aurora Channel, Fight Sports Central, coming up very, very soon, and you'll get all your news. And, of course, Fight Sports itself, every Thursday and twice on Sundays. That's good. So, referee Justin Gibbons says, OK, guys, touch gloves. We don't want to see any more of these low, accidental low blows and kicks. Step through, need elbows. He's going elbow bombing now, Chaos King. He's going to look for the finisher. Just the on. Smiles at him. Too smart, yeah. too smart, too quick, too defensive. Jumping elbow by Matt. Just low price, trying a couple of little low priority. Low priority. The blue corner. And there it was. You were right, Hammy. You picked it from the mark. Of course, the tie brilliance 